these rockets have the same animation keyframes but different interpolations. Caden Live has several keyframe interpolations to choose from, which you can mix and match to get the result you want while using the curve editor to keep an eye on their flow. I've broken down the interpolations into three sequences, the basics, the in and out, and the bouncy one. To change the interpolation of a keyframe, you simply click on the ramp under the keyframe ruler and pick the one you want. Make sure you have enough space to view all available options, like this, or click on the arrow to see what's hidden. Now, starting with sequence number one, we have discrete, linear, and smooth. To see how these work, go to the effect stack panel, and at the far right under the keyframe ruler, we have the curve icon. Click on it to toggle the curve edit mode. Now we can see the motion of each interpolation. Keep in mind that these rockets are only moving from left to right, which is the X position. There's a tab for X, Y, width, height, opacity, and rotation. All right. First, we have discrete, which jumps from one value to another without anything in between, as seen in the curve. It stays at the same value until the next keyframe. Next, we have the default linear. This one moves in a straight line from one value to the next. In other words, it moves at a constant speed or linear speed. Thirdly, we have smooth. This one has an S curve or S shape, starting slow, accelerating in the middle, slowing down in the end. When playing back, smooth starts slower than linear, then rapidly catches up and slowly comes to a stop. Well, the screen just teleports from one point to the other. Let's first have a look at the other available keyframe interpolations before we start mixing and combining. Moving on to sequence number two. Here we have cubic in, out, exponential in, out, circular in, out. For those of you familiar with After Effects or Premiere, these are your ease in and ease out, but slightly different. The ends, so whether it's cubic, exponential, or circular in, will start slow and later accelerate. It eases into the motion before accelerating. The outs, so cubic, exponential, and circular out, will go from zero to 90 very quickly, then hit the brakes. It eases out of the motion after having accelerated into it. That's for the difference between in and out. Now for cubic, exponential, and circular. Cubic has a softer curve compared to exponential, where exponential will exponentially ease in or out of a motion, cubic will simply ease in or out of the same motion. Exponential out moves out faster, and exponential in takes much longer to accelerate. Next, we have circular. Circular, which is a middle point between cubic and exponential, so to speak, it will accelerate faster than cubic, but also slow down sooner than cubic. FYI, exponential is still more intense than either one. Let's have a look at circular in. It moves out sooner than cubic in, but slows down sooner as well. It also has a circular shape in the curve editor. Now we'll look at circular out. It jumps out faster than cubic out, but then slows down sooner as well. And just for comparison, let's see how smooth looks like next to cubic and exponential. Pretty smooth, huh? That does it for sequence number two. Let's move on to the bouncy interpolations with sequence number three. Before we continue, consider subscribing for more tutorials. Let's move on. We now have elastic and bounce, each with in and out. Similar principle here. Elastic in will start elastic into the motion, same as bounce in, which will bounce into the motion, whereas elastic out will elastic out of the motion and bounce out will bounce out of the motion. A little confusing. When it comes to elastic, it pushes beyond the initial value or initial position. And you can see it by how the in or elastic in jumps backwards beyond the starting point and elastic out jumps past the in position. As for bounce, it's a little bit more subtle and simply has a little bounce to the motion. So let's briefly go back to sequence number one and combine interpolations. I'll go to smooth, so the last rocket at the bottom, add a keyframe in the middle, 
You can add keyframes to the curve editor simply by double clicking anywhere you want, or you could also simply click and drag to place the playhead and then click on the middle stopwatch. I'll add the keyframe by double clicking. I'll switch the interpolation to cubic out. And now depending on where I position the keyframe, we'll get a different flow of motion. Same thing goes when using other interpolations. If you'd like to support the channel, I have a Kofi account. The link is down in the description. For more animation in Kaden Live, you can watch my smooth subtitles video here. And thanks for watching.